Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Friday Live. Today, for my card, I'm going to be playing with this sound. So this, this is the inspiration behind the card for today. This is the To My Dearest stamp set from Mama Elephant. Look how cute those images are. And then you can put all the little greetings on the little note cards in the envelopes. So super cute. So I wanted to create something like that and we're gonna keep it kind of simple. I'm just gonna do a little background behind an, one of these images and then call it good. It's gonna be pretty simple. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp one of the little images. I'm loving this little bunny with the eyeglasses. Uh, he looks so cute. So I thought I would use him and I'm going to stamp him on some plain white cardstock. So I'm using Nina Classic Crest, Solar White. I'm going to be stamping our cute little bunny in a black ink. I'm planning to use colored pencils to color him. So it doesn't really matter really what black ink I'm going to use, but my brand new VersaFine Onyx Black arrived. It's the new case. It just has the regular lid instead of the flip top. So that's kind of exciting. Brand new ink pad. I love brand new ink pads because they're so juicy and just ready to stamp. All right. We've got our stamp out. We might as well. We could do a shadow study right above the actual one and I'll just use that same black ink. Why not? Since I've got all this extra white cardstock right here. That one actually stamps a little better than this one. This one has a little tiny blip. You probably can't see it, but um, maybe I'll do the shadow study down here and we'll color this one. So for those who are unfamiliar, a shadow study is basically just, you know, taking a pencil and adding shadows onto the image before you start coloring the image. And it gives you a chance to really figure out your contrast and like how you want it to look. So let's zoom in here and we're going to do a shadow study down here at the bottom. I'm thinking, I think I'm going to have the light coming from right here. So the light is coming down onto the bunny. Therefore the darkest areas, would be on the back and side of the bunny, right? So when I go to color this, I want to make sure that I have a lot of dark shadow. Uh, when you really pay attention to where the shadows are and you add almost like that's way too dark, um, it's going to look better. Uh, in my opinion, I think having more of a contrast helps it kind of look a little bit better. And of course, if you don't want to do like this crazy shadow thing, don't do something simple. You can color all flat color. It's still cute. By the way, I've got my pencils all right here. I'm using uh, Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. I want the paper to be more on the white side. In fact, you know, I forgot to stamp my greeting. We'll have to do that uh, in a bit. Actually, I probably should do it now. Okay, so all of these little gratings can go right on the little notepad. I think I'm going to do <laughs> sending lots of them. Then I'll use that same black ink pad that I used earlier. There we go. Come on.
the little polka dots. All right, we are all done with that. So let's zoom out and I'm gonna die cut him and then we're gonna put together the rest of the card. Okay, oh, he's cute. He is so cute. And we're gonna work on the background to go behind this little dude. These are the colors of Concord and Night that I picked out so that that's what informed the colors on my bunny. And we're gonna do a technique. Um, I just filmed a video for Concord and Night that's uh, going up tomorrow with some new product that they're releasing. And I did a technique on a card for that video that I love. I, if you guys know, have seen my videos in the past, when you see the stamp set, you know what technique is coming. I like to call it ink cube painting. And it's really great. You need to have a big solid stamp for it. So I thought this circle stamp would be perfect because it's the perfect size to go behind our little bunny. Okay, so I'm using painted shapes. That's the, the stamp set. In fact, Greg over at Concord and Ninth, um, I used one of their older stamps for this technique a couple years ago. And I was like, Greg, you need some other stamps like this because they had just retired that stamp set that I had used. And he was like, okay, on it. And then, you know, their next release, they had these. So this was a request for me. And I, I think it's my most used stamp set from Concord and Ninth because I love it so much. Okay. I'm going to be stamping directly on my card front. So this is a folded card. It's an A2 card. And I'm just going to put that in right there. All right. So I want to keep my card base in this spot all the time for all my stamping that I'm going to be doing. So I want to make sure that it's nice and snug in that corner. And then I'm going to put a piece of paper under here so you can kind of see what's happening. But I'm going to start painting like little swashes of color over the circle stamp. So I'm going to add a little bit of this honeysuckle up here. And I want to do almost like a rainbow effect, like a circular rainbow effect. So I'm going to keep all my colors a little bit like that. Okay, so it's going to stick. It's a big, thick stamp, so it's going to stick. <laughs> so that's why you have to reposition it every time. I'm not cleaning this off. I'm going to go to the next color, which I have decided is grapefruit. All right. And in the same spot stamp this down it's gonna have like a overlapping effect and I love that you can still see kind of the corners from the ink cube it's such a fun effect because this little guy is gonna be in front I'm not that concerned about the center so I'm just gonna keep going around the outer edge all right on to buttercup Sure that's in this corner. Oh, I love how those are overlapping. The grapefruit and buttercup make the most beautiful orange when they overlap. Okay, on to parsley. And then Oceanside. And I think I'm gonna have some gaps, but that's okay. Oh, so cute. I love how that turned out. In fact, I think I might add one more color just to get this to kind of blend there. So opening up my ink cubes, I think I'll add just a little bit of peacock and we'll just have it be like a transition just in that little spot right there. I should have had it go up more into the honeysuckle. So let's do that. We'll just bring there we go. I just want it up a little more. 
perfect. And then when we put this little guy, oh, that's cute. I love it. Let's get this little guy on here. So that's all right. Oh, he is cute. So I like to start my glossy accents out on some scratch paper because you kind of get bubbles out. And then while you still have it kind of pinched on your finger, between your fingers, go ahead and start bringing it over to your project. And you just keep like a really gentle, steady flow of the glossy accents coming out. And then you won't get any bubbles at all. And then just kind of wipe off the tip. Okay, so it looks a little clouded right now, but it will be completely clear once it's dry. So that's the card for today. I love how it turned out. I like the overlapping colors on the background. And of course, the glossy accents will dry back completely clear and give it a nice, you know, shine and sheen on his glasses. It'll be really, really fun. So I'll include that in the final photos that you'll see, um, you know, for this video over at my blog and Instagram. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next week with more videos. Thanks for watching.